Today I'm covering my first multi-tool. It is a Winger or Vinger, Swiss pronunciation. I guess I'm going to use the Americanized pronunciation uh, for the purposes of this video. It is a Winger Ranger Micorn Edition. Um, it is fully made in the spirit of everything that guy stands for, basically. Um, he's, a, he's a staunch environmentalist um, and one of the most, I guess, renowned explorers there and accomplished explorers on the planet. He is known, basically, for uh, the circumnavigation of the globe at the equator line, combination of things he by foot, by boat, non-motorized, canoe, bike. Uh, he circumnavigated the globe at the equator line, starting in Western Africa, traversing the Atlantic, crossing South America, taking boat to Indonesia, and so on. And he ended up arriving back at the eastern coast of Africa. He is also known for his circumnavigation of the Arctic Circle. Um, Non-motorized uh, vehicles. If I don't think he, I think he did it basically by foot. So everything's non-motorized. If he does use some form of transportation other than foot. So because he is Earth friendly, everything's Earth friendly with this guy. I'm not a big global warming person, but evidently he's he's uh, he's quite active in environmental causes. And so. This handle is made out of a combination of wood and plastic, making it fully recyclable. The thing I like about this knife, compared to other Swiss Army knives, is that it can be opened one-handed. However, I have a hard time getting real good purchase of it on it for one-handed operation. Um, I'd rather have more of a Spyderco hole. However, I guess Spyderco has a patent on that, but I'd rather have something that's a little bit more circular. I guess the main blade, I would call it the main blade because it's the only one with the liner lock. Pretty neat for a Swiss Army knife. It has a serrated edge on it, blunted tip. Um, Mike Horn, when he challenged Winger to make a knife that he found functional in the field, he wanted a blunted tip on his serrated knife. So anyway, you can see there you got the liner lock there. To release the liner lock, you press the Winger label, the logo. Push it in like that. It releases the knife. Over here you have standard blade. One of the cool, one of the neatest features of this knife is the uh, needle nose plier. So well thought out. See how the one of the handles is kind of rest, it's clean there. It's rest at the end of the knife here, the base of the, uh, the handle. You pull back like this. And it locks into place, has a nice satisfying click. And it's a needle nose plier, wrench, and wire cutter. That wire cutter just looks so precise. Pretty neat. Here you have an ol, which is good for boring holes in wood, marking wood, um, or used for punching holes, mainly I guess in leather. This looks like more like a, a sewing ol. So you punch a hole through leather, you'd have something, you'd have like a you know a thin piece of leather or something like that going through here, and uh, through the hole, and uh, you'd be able to stitch something, or or it, it it would enable you to be able to repair something. So, could be wrong. That's what I think it's used for. Um, on the other side, you have a metal file. Also a metal saw. See the teeth there for the metal saw. Um, right here, pretty neat feature. You have a 1 fourth inch bit holder. Okay. You put down the knife for a second. Here's the sheath that comes with it. You open it up when you get it, and it has a Phillips 
head bit and it basically goes in the knife like this and then you can perform whatever task is needed with that also comes with a slotted what I did to customize mine one of the downsides of this knife is that it does not come with tweezers tweezers are very useful in the field um, camping whatever you may be doing outdoors or period and so what I did is I ordered separately from Winger the tweezers so I just kind of tuck those there in the corner and um, it's there for when it's needed not totally secure but it's better than nothing um, the sheath is really neat um, pretty 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 high quality there's the winger logo snap it open take it like this slide it in and then there it is like I said winger is mainly I think an overseas brand now they made the first Swiss Army knife Victorinox acquired the company and so most um, so they're a subsidiary now of Victorinox. Most products sold here in the States are under the Victorinox brand. I hope I didn't forget anything. Oh, I did. <laughs> There's a can opener right here. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you all found this video informative. And here is the Wenger Ranger Mike Horn Edition. It says, learn, or excuse, excuse me, explore, learn, act, under his name. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope I made it as comprehensive as possible. It's not easy covering a multi-tool. My first one. Thank you all for watching.